Hi guys, my name is Minka and welcome to my 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 channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the red sub subscribe button and hit the small bell notification so you get notified when I upload videos. Today I wanted to to address a question I got from a sub sub subscriber and they wanted to know and I've gotten asked this a, a few times if I use any specific techniques to help me with my stuttering or if I just you know, like what what do do I do? If there's anything specific, specific specific I do. So basically, when I talk on a normal, regular day to day basis, I don't use any techniques whatsoever, not one. And it's just it's not necessarily because I don't really want to. It's just because when I'm when I'm speaking on a regular day to day basis, I don't want to keep thinking like, oh, I I need to be you know speaking like this. I need to be doing doing this. I I need to be moving my my mouth a certain way excuse me and that type type of thing so it's just it's not something that i'm thinking about on a regular basis however when i did go to speech therapy a few years ago it was like four or five year, year, years ago now i did learn a few things that i want to share with with you because i've gotten asked this i will try and think about this sometimes when i do talk but i don't think about it often i've heard it named a few names but one name is the passive airflow technique or speaking on the flow of breath and basically what this does is it, it like it opens up your vo vo vocal cords I'm not sure 100% on the on the the science behind it. I'm I'm not a speech ther therapist or or speech pathologist, but I know that it's something has to do with opening the vocal cords when you sigh. So, for instance, I'm gonna breathe in, and then I'm gonna sigh out. So, like if you breathe in, and then breathe out. You, you know it it, it it feels good it's kind of the same thing like when you do when you you do yoga or if you meditate and you're just you know you're really conscious about your breathing it's kind of the the same idea so if, if I breathe in and then breathe out I'm gonna talk so I'm gonna I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say hi my name is Minka so I'm gonna breathe in and then talk hi my name is Minka so as I'm talking, I'm basically talking on the flow of breath. And I, 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 I like to, to, to use my hands, because like usually when I talk, I, I, I use my hands. We'll, t we, we'll try, try it again. You, you can also try it with, with me. So I'm gonna breathe in, and then breathe out, and just talk on the flow, flow of breath. So breathe in. Hello, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm going to Amsterdam today. My husband is a very funny guy. So it just it just it kind of helps just to breathe. And that's one one thing I think about stuttering too. Is I think a lot of it with stuttering. A lot of stuttering, I believe, is not 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 breathing correctly. I know that's true for me, but I'm I'm not sure if, if that's true for everyone who does stutter. I know for, for many many people pe pe people who stutter, it's because they're not breathing correctly. So for me, that's just the, the technique that has worked the most. So that that was just the one specific technique that has that that has has worked for me. Like I said, I don't really use it though because when when I'm talking, I'm just not I'm not really thinking up, up, about it, you know. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you you you, you guys that that is that is one technique that has helped me. So I hope you got you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and hit the small bell icon by the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload videos. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.